Hey Virgo, <laughs> welcome to Eight of Cups Tarot. I am working on your mid-month for June 2020. I decided to do each individual sign for the mid-month because there's so much action going on. Again, it's another month where the end of June is going to look so different compared to the first half. We have a big eclipse coming on the 21st. We have Mercury going retrograde in Cancer, same place basically as the eclipse. Um, Venus is going to go, she's stationing to move direct, so that'll be a nice energy for a change, you know, because everything is still retrograde. But as Venus moves direct, Neptune actually goes into retrograde. So we're still deep in the heart of eclipse and retrograde season. I'm going to start the reading off by pulling a couple of astrology cards to get an idea of your energy and the energy surrounding you. South node, life's debts, and the moon. So the south node is in such a negative place. In fact, it's a place where we find ourselves really comfortable at. It is a karmic energy that we've carried through many lifetimes. And quite simply, there are contracts that we have to serve. Um, energy that we have to express within this lifetime uh, that's coming into play with these eclipses. And the energy is that of the moon. So the moon always talks to me about bringing clarity and it's kind of where the light meets the dark. You know, when you're afraid of the dark and you kind of, I don't know, like when you're a kid and you're laying in a dark room and you're imagining all the terrible things that can be surrounding you and then somebody comes in and they flip on a light and everything is absolutely fine. And that's kind of the moon energy. We're in a phase where we're facing our fears Maybe we're being asked to step out of our comfort zone to sort of do things we are not all that familiar with. As Virgos, we could kind of get stuck in an energy where we kind of don't want to stand out. You know, a Virgo would rather take the back seat and be kind of like the supporting energy. Um, not to say that all Virgos are kind of introverted because they're not, but really what happens is we're kind of better off to serve others. Uh, we make that a priority in our life and that is our comfort zone. So let's take a look at what is happening here for you. Know, maybe you don't want to talk about it. What is bringing this to the surface? Ten of Wands and Six of Wands. So whatever it is, Ten of Wands coming out underneath the South Node and the Six of Wands coming out under the Moon tells me that you're at the end of a cycle. And it may have been a cycle where you felt like you sacrificed a lot, you had to give up a lot. 
um, a lot of things were leaving your life. It might have just been a period where you had to close out a lot of stuff, maybe ending old jobs, um, ending old karmic relationships, you know, putting to bed all the unhealed energy from old relationships. It could even mean that you've paid off a lot of debt. And the moon card, which symbolizes energies that are unknown to you, is that of the six of wands, of recognition, recognition of victory, of yeah, it's, it's a card of victory, overcoming those fears. Let's take a look at what was going on in the recent past for you, Virgo. Recent past. Page of Cups, Ace of Pentacles. This is something that you love, that you're emotionally, you know, attached to. Page of Cups can be somewhat clingy um, and needy. But I'm not picking up that energy. It was like a new love offer, a communication about love um, that may have symbolized a, a commitment or a new offer for stability. Um, you may have been talking to somebody about a job, a new beginning in the workplace, but whatever it was, it, it's new because it's coming up as brand new in your recent past. I don't feel a lot of old energy here. I don't feel a lot of stagnation. So this is definitely something new that came in that has the, I'm hearing the potential for stability and commitment. Let's take a look at what's crowning your energy. Cards are coming out a lot for my signs. So crowning your energy is the Four of Wands and the Three of Pentacles. Yeah, you want to build and you want to invest. You want that happy family, that, that home life, that stability. And I think you may be coming to a point where you realize it takes more than one person. You know, um, other people have to contribute as well. This could also be somebody that wants to come in and build with you. Somebody that wants, that sees that stable potential in you. Potential for expansion and a future. And they want to start laying the groundwork. Now, honestly, this eclipse and all these retrogrades, you know, they bring back people from your past, they bring back past situations, past karmic situations, anything of the sort. And um, it serves us not to make real big decisions and commitments right now. We're really just feeling it out because we are laying the foundations. Um, it's not pretty right now. That's what I like to tell everybody about this energy. It's not pretty yet, you know? It's like when you dig a foundation for a new home and everything's kind of just muddy and it's just, it's so undeveloped and it's hard, but I think you have a vision. That's what I'm seeing here. You have a vision for something bigger. I'm also getting a sense of what was just promises. If somebody's been promising you or, or saying they're going to do this or do that or take you here or, you know, any 
thing like that, I feel like it's coming to fruition now. Things are starting to really come together for you. Your new future energy. Ending a cycle. Yeah. Bottom of the deck is the Empress. So, Ten of Swords. And the Six of Pentacles in your near future. South Node Life Stats. You've got the Ten of Wands and the Ten of Swords. We're definitely closing out cycles here. Cycles in the way that you think, as well as cycles in the way that you take action with things. Um, I am getting a sense of boundaries, really clear boundaries coming from my Virgos about what you will and will not do for others. Um, you have to invest in yourself in order for other people to invest in you. You know, they kind of say like, we teach people how to love us. And so if you've been in a cycle in relationships where you're the one who's taking on all the burdens, you're the one who's making all of the effort, all of the sacrifices, that cycle is ending for you. Um, it has to because there's something much bigger. You see, you can't look at the south node without looking at the north node. South node meaning you've fulfilled these karmic cycles, these karmic relationships that you've had in your past. And now it's time to move forward. And I think there's a part of Virgo that's no longer going to accept people in their lives that just say they're going to do things, say they're going to change, say they're going to, you know, just do the things that you need other people to do. We're in an energy now where we can't rely on others. There's, there's too much fluidity. There's too much change in the air, energy, growth. You know, if these are relationships, friendships, work associates that we've had, you know, if you could just understand how much you've changed in the past several weeks, then you have to also be able to realize how much other people have changed. And our vibration is different. And so, we're starting to close out these old karmic relationships and invite new ones in. But with an energy of, um, you know, the moon is all about relying on your intuition and feeling your way through these situations so you could get better, so that you could get these this victory, so you could have this four of wands Virgo it's all about investing in yourself and teaching other people how to love you let's pull a couple clarifiers here what is this ten of wands for my Virgos Yeah, Eight of Swords and the Page of Pentacles. You know, I just get this vibe like, you keep doing the same old thing over and over again because you're afraid of, of taking on something new. feeling kind of entrapped in a situation. Um, and the Page of Pentacles, next to that Eight of Swords, is 
not seeing the opportunities that are right in front of you, not grabbing a hold of them, not treating them for what they're worth, these opportunities, you're not even looking at them. You feel really tied up in a lot of burdens. You know, sometimes life isn't easy. I see this for a lot of my signs where you feel like you get one harsh blow after another, where you feel like you always have to carry everybody's responsibilities. You're always a responsible one. And of course, my Virgos are coming out like this because they are always a responsible person, but they don't realize that they're carrying a lot of other people's burdens on themselves. And by doing this, you're not making space for those new things to come in. You're not even looking at them. You're just exhausted from doing the same old things over and over again. This is your self node energy, and this is what's being cleared out with this eclipse. Let's take a look at this Ace of Pentacles and the Page of Cups. of Pentacles and Page of Cups. Temperance. Yeah, in the past, I think you've been really patient with people, seeing the potential in people, um, which can kind of get Virgos in trouble. I'm sure I've said this to you before. But the really great thing about Virgos is that they see perfection and beauty in everything. It's not that they're super critical and they want to change everything about you. It's because they see something so special in you. And they want you to shine because that's what Virgos do. We want to make other people shine. And so I feel like you've been really patient in the past with people, really forgiving um, Yeah, let's just leave it at that. Allowing energies to build. This is something in your recent past. Let's take a look at this Four of Wands and the Three of Pentacles. What's crowning you, clarifying that four of wands, three of pentacles, is the three of wands and the king of wands. I'm picking up a lot of fire here. So you may be dealing with a Leo, Sag, or an Aries energy. Um, Yeah, this is manifesting that perfect partner. Let me just pull some clarifiers for this outcome and I'll get a better idea of that. Okay. Yeah. So, Virgo, I think you're manifesting that perfect partner for you. Um, and I think that perfect partner is somebody who has a lot of passion. Now the outcome, the cycle that's coming to an end, 
I've got the Six of Pentacles. Uh, so no longer participating in relationships where there's not equal give and take. There's not reciprocity. Again, carrying everybody else's burdens and issues, always being there to help, but nobody helps the Virgo, right? Um, the Four of Pentacles, which is Capricorn energy um, as well. This is like somebody that really holds on to what they have. It doesn't, they don't share. So maybe you've been in relationships where you felt like the other person was sort of greedy or... Um, Again, just not willing to really help. Not the way that you would. And then the King of Swords. So you could be ending a karmic relationship with a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius type. Or the King of Swords kind of reminds me... You're raising the bar. Your vision on the future is expanding and growing, and you want more for yourself. And I think with the, the moon and the south, no, the universe absolutely agrees and is applauding you for finally coming to this realization. Some of these relationships have to go. Some of these are toxic, they're not serving you, and I think you know there's something so much better out there something where somebody is more inclined to really come through with their promises. I'm going to grab one more card for this King of Swords. Oh, that's a lot. Okay, this was trying to come out before. Okay, King of Swords, the Hermit, the Tower, and the Five of Pentacles. So this King of Swords... There may be communication coming in as to why this person has kind of pulled away. This hermit card went within to gain wisdom. And they got the tower card. So, oh, my nose gets so itchy. This could be you, Virgo. There's an energy of the Hermit, which is a Virgo energy, the Tower, which is a Scorpio energy, and the Five of Pentacles. So what I'm picking up here is that somebody walked away causing a tower moment, triggering your abandonment issues. Now this could be you or this could be the king of swords. Um, either way, I really do feel that there's communication coming in about a situation where somebody walked away maybe rather abruptly, maybe without explaining themselves. Um, which kind of left you feeling alone. And again, you're in this energy of ending all of these cycles, carrying all of these heavy burdens. So anybody who's trying to reach out and talk to you now, even from the past, even if you say, oh my God, that's the last person I want to talk to. I really don't want to open up this can of worms. I mean, unless it's like stalker, scary kind of energy, it might serve you to have the conversation. It doesn't mean that you have to entertain reconciliation, uh, none of that. But the universe is trying to talk to us and, and teach us things right now, show us things of our past that we may have not seen correctly. Remember, we're in retrograde season, so we're getting a chance to revisit and, and change things. 
see things from a different perspective. So these conversations can be really healing. They could also bring, you know, information that's going to lead you into the next phase of your life because you're in this moon energy of unknowing. And that's okay. It's okay to be there. And honestly, you're safe, you're sound. You may have to go it alone for a little bit, but you're going to be okay. I think it's, you know, this victory card, you're overcoming a lot of these fears. Maybe you are overcoming the fear of really being alone and realizing it's not so bad, it's not so scary. Just like I said, you know, when you're a kid and you flip on those lights and all of a sudden everything's just fine, it's peaceful in your room. And all those fears and stuff are just in your head, you know. And the King of Swords, he doesn't fall victim to negative thought processes, you know, like he cuts that shit out. He knows better. He's reached that level of mastery. So you're not going to let your mind play tricks on you. You know exactly what you deserve and you're not going to be taken for granted anymore either. What you're searching for is the ultimate relationship, the ultimate home for your heart. And you know, I think you know that it's not here. It's not in the situations. And it's not in situations where you feel like you have to beg for help, beg for attention, beg for, you know, anything. That's not how loving relationships work. I think this is going to be a pretty intense eclipse for you, Virgo. Um, but ultimately, I think it's going to lead to really positive things for you in the future. I do hope you enjoy the reading. If you get a chance to like, subscribe, share the video, it would be greatly appreciated. I'll be checking in soon with the July reading. Okay, take care. Bye.